It's a continuation of the catcher's mitt series. I'm gonna be showing you how to lace a catcher's mitt web on this nice Marucci 235C1. This is the web it comes with. Get all that in the picture. It's a triple bar design. I know what you're thinking. Um, your glove probably has double X's or maybe something different, but uh, I'll try to tell you what to do when, once you get to that point. Well, let's start. All right, this particular model, I'm gonna start out right here. Pull up my picture just to make sure, yep. Feel your way underneath. We're gonna be coming out right here. If I can. There we go. Got an extra piece of leather in there. For this, I'm gonna be starting with a 72 inch piece of quarter inch lace. Cause this is where all the stress will happen is in the web. And this is gonna knot up at the end. It's about four inches. A little over due to the thickness to get that right knot. Should come out like that. All right. Now we're going to be going in the bottom part. good. Let's see what it looks like a little tighter. I don't think I can get it much tighter than that. All right. Here's where the web comes in. I'm kind of straighten this out so it'll make a vertical bar if I can. I need a little twist. top hole coming out the middle passed it up Whew, that's rough getting it through there okay sometimes I need to go off camera to pull it through this tough leather Match it up. Let me see if I can get everything back in the picture. Match it up nice and flush with that bottom base. There we go. Now we're going to be coming down. If you had an X, um, you'd pretty much do the same thing right here, but you would have four holes on top, four holes on bottom, but I only have three. You probably figure it out once you get this far. Let me match it up to the bottom hole, middle. Got it through. Straighten that one out. There we go. Go behind the 
top hole out the side. This leather just really wants to grab onto that needle. in between we doubled up the lace on the binding let's see about right there it's gonna come out this hole on top twist it's meant to be smooth side up you could make it rough side to match the rest of it but this is how they lace it from the factory so I'm going with that and we're gonna be coming out in between the binding right here I'm gonna go ahead and come out before going in that hole because I don't think I can make it Tug. You don't want that coming loose anytime soon. Now we're going to make our way back. If this web will allow us. And we're going to be coming out this hole right here. Okay, I was able to pull that through off camera. try to go this way in here and over to this side I would like to use a rag Kill my hand. Where is my needle? There it is. All right, again, I'm going to do this off camera, but that's where we're coming out. All right, I got it through. Hopefully, your glove will be broken in by the time you have to do this. This one's brand new and it's some, it's some stiff stuff. Now, if you look at that, it's not exactly perfect. You can kind of twist the lace to where they lay on top of each other. But I usually save that to the end. I'll show you what I kind of do with it. Try not to get the lace too much with it. You can always uh, pound it with a mallet, of course, when you're done too, to straighten them out. It's always good to kind of wiggle it to straighten it up before you go in. All right, let's try this again. Another trick, definitely tighten up your needle because mine just came off several times during this. All right, going in the bottom here. Some really thick lace. 
So there's not much room to work with. where we're coming out we made it again almost there go ahead and try to straighten this one out before you can guess where we're going now A third hole coming out the end This one won't be as hard. All right. It has made it through. Just like this other side, we're going to go in between the double lace right here. To finish it off, go right in between the binding. Feel your way around for that exit. You can see the needle. There we go. Tight. Make sure you match the other side as best as you can. Needs to come a little more. Back it out to match the other side a little bit. And of course, you can make this as loose or as tight as you want it on your glove. good enough for demonstration that will do it for the bottom part now on to the next all right for the middle section I'm using the same strand of lace I used for the bottom just the remainder of it I'm gonna be going in this hole right here coming out that middle section Four inches right here for the knot. And we're going to be going in this hole, or actually, not hole, binding space. Kind of avoid that lace that we kept under there. We're going to be coming out the other side through this hole right here. Feel it? There it is. All right, that was another section I had to fight with off camera on this part hold this lace while you pull on this side take the web to where you want it so you don't lose your, your knot excess that's good for demonstration get that knot or not knot that lace a little twist and going up one hole between the binding right above it. There we go. And I made the camera. Can't get that relatively tight. Don't want that one coming undone. Loosen them up anytime soon. 
See what I mean? I kind of lost a little bit right here, but we can pull it tight once we get that knot ready. And we're gonna be going through this third section. One, two, three, four is the top. as tight as you want. And we're gonna be coming through right here. And out the top hole on the thumb. Sometimes doesn't want to pull through right. So make sure you do. I want that rough side touching the smooth side. See how it's twisting on me? It's kind of rough to get back. Let's see if I can fix it on the way. flip on me but I'll just twist it back once I get it through. Inspection looks pretty good. Give that a twist to get a smooth side. We're going in one below that one. Right there. Coming out the binding right below that one. Alright, I cut it through off camera once again. lace on my brand new catcher's mitt is no joke okay that part's done I just need to finish it off do this last hole in the section there we go if you notice right here lace that we tucked earlier when we did the perimeter starting to come out but we can poke that guy back in and I'll mess with that off camera can use pliers or save as bad as the other side of the needle so you can get a better grasp on it that's all for the middle section and the web in general I'll be doing the top spiral in a separate video due to time constraints Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.